Matthew chapter 25 verse 15 gives an interesting detail that we do well to look at. The Bible says after the master had given the servants various talents according to their abilities, then he went away. Now you see when the master gives them these gifts and goes away, it implies something that we need to take a closer look at. Firstly, it implies the level of maturity that is required of these servants. This is not the same as Israel being a baby and carried on eagle's wings in the Old Testament or Hosea and Israel as a wayward wife. It's not even the same as the parable of the wheat and the tares where the master is there to hold their hands. When the master goes away, the level of maturity that those exercising trust on behalf of the master need to exercise is way bigger. Secondly, it implies that these servants need to know what the master would have done were he there himself. In Luke chapter 19, the words used for the same parable are the master when he goes away says, occupy until I come. We ought to occupy the space Jesus would have occupied where he here. If there are hungry people to be fed, occupy that space. If mission needs to be financed, occupy that space. If someone needs to be reached out to, occupy that space. Do what Jesus would have done were he here. And thirdly, and perhaps most interestingly, is the master does not give them instructions as to what to do with these talents. And so there's a level of creativity they must exercise in carrying out this work. So those three things once again. Number one, we need to be mature in this arm of the work. Number two, we need to do what Jesus would have done way here. And thirdly, we need to be creative while we're doing it. As we go about all our tasks, occupy until it comes. May God bless you.